Automotive Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I'm going to show you a uh, little quick video of Clay Wombles cooking right quick. Clay, well, Clay is actually preaching right now, and I'm fixing to head to church uh, to uh, New Beginnings in Northport. In, anyway, but uh, this cooker right here is made out of a decommissioned, decommissioned propane tank. It's 30 inches diameter, and it's uh, around right at close to 80 inches long. But uh, we do make some cookers out of decommissioned tanks as long as we go through the customer, it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all guys, anybody that tells you that they use a decommissioned propane tank and there's not some corrosion on these tanks is outright not telling you the truth. Anytime you use a decommissioned propane tank, there is gonna be spots of corrosion on these tanks, being where they were close to the ground and everything else. What I did with this cooker is uh, I, I turned it into a cabinet model, so I found the worst what I thought considered to be the place that I didn't like it, the most undesirable place, and I cut all that out and I framed it in, made a cabinet model out of it. So uh, this is a really nice cooker. It's, Clay had a budget, and plus I gave him a deal because he's a pastor, and I know what he's going to be doing with the cooker. He's going to be doing good things with it, and that's that's uh, that's what we promote. But anyway, uh, you see how much room this cooker's got. Look at the room in, in this cooker. I mean, it's massive amounts of room. Uh, it just has a shelf on it. He did not want to go with a wood box on the back. He didn't need that within his budget, and, and that's fine. We've got gaskets on the doors. And uh, again, just look and see how much room you got on this cooker. I mean, this cooker's going to hold a hunk ton. A whole lot of room in between here. Excellent airflow down this cooker. Uh, you know, this cooker here just has, uh, it doesn't have the chrome wheels and tires. Again, we built this to his budget. And uh, plus, I, uh, done some stuff for him too. Uh, I gave him a deal. I, I, I actually added the cabinet door for free and uh, did some other stuff. Gave him really good. But anyway, I added both dampers to this cooker. Uh, got both dampers uh, where you can put heat right up in here. You do the vertical. You can open that up, get heat and smoke in here, or you can just cook right here in the charcoal pan right here. So uh, I went ahead and added double intakes on the bottom. I want to get good airflow because everybody knows what does it take to make a cooker work. Absolutely, the firebox has got to be in relation to the cook chamber what you got to have. You got to have two things, air intake and exhaust in the right amount of it. If you don't have it, it ain't going to work. But, uh, so this stack here, the six inch stack, I made it tall where the draft real good. Could have used eight inch and make it, made it shorter, but I decided to use the six inch and let it pull down through that real good. Uh, it's got LED lighting on it. We didn't short change any of that. We got a piece of have a foot on a jack. Got a grease drain up front. And I got to get to church because we got a good speaker coming today over the New Beginning. Y'all come on over and see us. But don't get to see Clay. Clay, I'm sorry. I forgot to run near church, man. Don't shoot me. But anyway, I'll tell y'all later about Clay's church. I, you know, all timers, I think, is what it is. <laughs> no, to turn around, let me show Carlos his cooker. Carlos Terciano, I'm in the middle of your build. This is going to be a huge build. I got your little old place already made to sit down right there. We'll have a, a, a rack that goes all the way down here, turns, turns left, comes back down the cooker, goes into a stainless steel shelf, and uh, it'll have a fish burners. Hopefully, I'm going to have the burner where it'll you'll just roll off the stainless shelf right onto the burner. Burner will be elevated a little bit, hopefully, on the same elevation. If, if I don't have a brain, a, a brain freeze here somewhere. But again, let's come around here, Cody, right quick. Carlos, you see how big this cooker is? I've got your track, your uh, tracks in for your slides, for your uh, grates and stuff. Uh, it, it's gonna be a big one, I can tell you that. You got, I've got, I put both your dampers in. There's both right there. Uh, guys on these cabinet doors, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, I'm gonna warn y'all. When that's out, don't slam that door over into this. You're gonna bend your rod and then you're gonna have, you're gonna have to go back and uh, tweak it to get it to close. So I always remember when you open the cabinet door, Shut that damper right there and you're good, you know. Here, right here, you'll be good anyway. My damper. But uh, again, this is Paul with Shirley Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We uh, got a lot of bills coming up. We, we're, we're still on schedule, pretty much on schedule, guys. But don't whack me if I get off a week or so, because the rain has been terrible in Alabama. It's going to rain all week. And I've got to get a cooker blasted for Matt Baldwin. We're going to finish that cooker this evening. I think Tyler is or tomorrow. Got to blast that cooker, get it painted for him to pick up Friday. And man, it's always a challenge. Just rain, you know, I can't do anything about it. But this summer will be one good Lord to give us rain. So you take it like it is. 
But again, call me at 205-310-9160.